Hello YouTubers, this will be a video review of my ThinkPad T530 professional business laptop from Lenovo. Here's the Lenovo label and the ThinkPad label. I got this, I custom ordered this online from Lenovo.com and it shipped out pretty quickly I believe uh, within a week. So, let's start off from the front, here is the uh, switch the little switch thing you use to open the screen. Here is the let me zoom. I mean focus that in. That's the express card slot right here. This comes out and you can put an express card in there. Express card device. Here is the SC card port that does not work with micro SC. You have to have an adapter. Sandisk makes them. This is the uh, headphone microphone combination headset. 3 millimeter connection. This is the disk drive. The Ultra Bay can also fit in there. The Ethernet port. The Kensington lock connection. USB 2.0 powered. I spent a little extra and got a 9 cell battery for this, and the uh, lifetime is great on it. One thing I don't like is it's kind of wiggly in there. Let me kind of show you that. I mean, it still holds in there great, it's fine, but, you know, it's just a little wiggly. The AC adapter, it says 20 volts on there. And here's the actual AC adapter with the uh, traditional yellow tip. It also says 20 volts, which is kind of odd, but it's 120 volts. And if you didn't notice, it is a 90 watt one that came with the computer because this one has... It has an NVIDIA graphics processor on it with one gigabyte memory. And then this has the Core i5. I forgot the um, gigahertz. It has uh, four gigabytes of RAM. It has a 320 gigabyte hard drive. I know. I, I prefer the smaller ones because I don't have a lot of stuff to store on there. And uh, there's a lower failure rate, I believe, for smaller hard drives. It just seemed like that to me. So uh, this one came with uh, the Seagate one. Seagate hard drive. I forgot the model of it, but this is where the hard drive is stored. This is where the RAM cards are. This is the connection for the dock. Um, here is a keyboard draining slot thing right here. And also, as I mentioned, the um, disk drive comes out. So what you do is you just slide this up. And actually, I just don't notice that moves, but and then once that slid up, you have to push that at the same time. Let me. Let me try this. It's hard to do with one hand, but oh, that was easy. Oh, okay, so my camera's having problems focusing the game. There is the uh, I believe that's SATA connection, SATA two connection. You can fit the Ultra Band there with another hard drive. Excuse me if I forget all the names or everything, because. I used to be up to date with all this, and then once I got it, I stopped looking at, you know, computer videos and stuff. And then now I just kind of forgot what everything is. I, I don't even remember exactly how much, you know, gigahertz is on this computer and everything. So, take a moment to look at the, uh, the events on the computer. In case you're thinking about getting a computer laptop fan for it, like I did. It gets mostly hot over here in this region probably right here where the processor is so um, the hard drive doesn't have any vents on it but it should be kept cool there's some vents surrounding it but unlike the ThinkPad Edge 15 which I had before this there's not much of a uh, like a cooling problem this one this computer tends to cool itself fine even when I'm playing games on it I was playing Bioshock 2 on this and it, it ran beautifully it had amazing graphics I mean it it didn't crash so even though this is the uh, NVIDIA Business Series graphics, it still runs great. It runs amazing, actually. So if you're wanting a uh, gaming computer with, uh, you know, ThinkPad reliability and durability, I would go with this. By the way, this is the... I got this when it first came out, so this is the first version of the T530, and it works great. So besides that blue screen problem I told you about, the only other glitch I really don't like is whenever I'm trying to press the volume up, down, or volume mute buttons, I have to either click on the start menu or hit the Windows key first because the way Lenovo has it, it's a uh, program running in there 
for the volume buttons, and I guess maybe, you know, it, you, I don't know, but it's always like that. I guess maybe the priorities. Uh, let me see. I don't think I've came to the back yet. So USB 2.0 powered. Oh, I did come to the back. Okay, sorry. AC <coughs> AC port. You can see where the metal hinge has gotten darker because of the heat, actually. And this is these are both steel hinges, by the way. Anyway, fan vent and fan vent. One thing I need to mention is a lot of people, including me, think that air comes in through the back and from the bottom and then comes out through the side. That's not true. Air comes in through the bottom and then comes out both of these vents right here. So make sure not to block the vents. <clears throat> Here's another air out vent. Let me focus that. I've gotten it kind of messy. Dirty, I mean. Here's a uh, mini display port, VGA port, USB 3.0 port. USB 2.0 port, and if you get it with the option of a smart card reader, I believe that will be right there. There is a 9 1394, I believe that's FireWire port, and then the um, wireless internet <clears throat> switch. So, so yeah, I'm amazed by how durable this computer is versus the ThinkPad Edge. Just listen to it. Pretty good. Now let's go and take a look at it in the inside. Whenever I open this real fast, it actually lifts up the base, which is amazing. Cause, you know, look, look at that. The hinges are really strong. But anyway, this is Lenovo Enhanced, Ex Enhanced Experience 3, with Windows 7 and Core i5. I got this right before they switched to Windows 8, so I'm lucky. I, I'm used to Windows 7 and those more software and games compatible with Windows 7, so I'm good for now. Here is the uh, volume mute, volume up and down buttons, the microphone mute. This Think Vantage button doesn't work. At least I haven't gotten to work. <laughs> Let me get this in the light. Okay, there we go. Here's all of the keys. Unlike the uh, ThinkPad Edge, you have to hit the function button, then this key. And unlike the previous ThinkPad series, this key is white. It's not red or anything. So, and you know, it has the new, what's it called? Like, island keyboard or something like that. Here's the track point. It came with the, um, the other track point. I forgot the name of it, but I had it. I got separate track points. I think this is like the rim one or something. So... This keyboard is backlit, I'll show you that in just a minute, and it still has a think light on it too. So, um, <clears throat> here's the, uh, like the, uh, buttons that go along with the, uh, track point. Here's the track pad, it's textured, I like that. Here are the buttons that go with the track pad. So, if you hit function once, I mean, if you hold on function and then, then hit the keyboard once, it backlights a little bit. You do it again. It gets brighter, you do it again, it turns off, and then the think light comes on. It's a bright, soft white LED. You do it a third time, it turns off. Now, I'm going to set the camera down for just a second, and I'm going to turn off my lights. So, I just turned off both of my lights, and here's the laptop. I'm going to press function. Space. It's not too bright, but it definitely works under low light conditions. Hit again, it gets brighter. Now it's brighter. And then the Think Light turns on. So you can see the Think Light, how well it illuminates. Let me focus. How well it illuminates the keyboard. And, you know, the buttons right there. It Over off the sides, it's not lit up that well, but, you know. If you're here in person, you'll notice it is lit up a little bit. Just not as well as the center, so... Let me go ahead and set this down, and then turn on my lights again. Whoops. Move my surge suppressor out from underneath the table. Alright, let me turn this back off. So, now, here let me get my uh, AC adapter, and then, 
Oh, one thing I want you to notice is whenever I plug it in, the battery key stops, the battery light stops blinking, starts blinking. Then once I unplug it, then once I unplug it, it stays lit. So I plug it in, it will flash again, and then it stops staying lit. So let me show you this. There's two lights on the back cover, the running off battery light, and then the sleep mode light. And then down here, there's only two lights, it's the internet on light and the hard drive and use light. Now let me go ahead and show you the fingerprint reader. Now. I'm going to show you a bad quality fingerprint. It just flashes once and then right there it said bad quality. Now I'm going to show you a uh, failed finger. You heard that noise it made and it was flashing orange and it said failed up there. And now I'm going to log in with my correct finger. It flashes green a few times then it logs in and then there's my channel. Now whenever I hit the mute button, that comes up on the screen. I'm going to unmute it. I'm going to hit the volume up and down. I'm going to hit the microphone mute. Now I'm going to hit the mute button and turn the volume up and it will automatically mute it. So there's that. One thing I also like is the power button has a light around it. So that's really it when it comes to the lights. Now, oh also, you probably noticed that whenever I you mute it, you mute something, the little orange LE comes on. Now, here is the camera. The microphone is somewhere around it. And then, right there, that thing that's kind of glowing is the little LED that makes all that light for the think light. Now, this is the screen. It's I'm squeezing on it, nothing much is happening. I'm kind of banging it. It has a roll cage built in everywhere. And when you're looking at it from here, this is the hard drive, this is the CD drive. So. Let me go ahead and kind of close this. I have it said not to go to sleep mode, by the way, whenever I close this. So I'm going to go ahead and press the eject button on this. Light flashed. Now it's reading, even though there's nothing in there. So that's it for the computer. So let me move on to the, uh, the, the little sleeve I got for it. Focus that in. I spent extra money, a little bit extra money to get this as a ThinkPad logo right there. There's two zippers, one right here, one right here. Once you would zip them, you'll notice the inside is red. Now this is very soft, people. It's padded and very soft, so it's good for the computer. So now I'm going to unzip it. And that just looks nice. It's red in there, black on the outside. Matches the Lenovo theme very well. I'm going to unplug the charger. Now it's the battery lies on again. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide the ThinkPad into the sleeve. Then I'm going to start zipping this up. And even with the 9 cell battery, it stays in there nice. So let me do that again. It fits just in there perfect. In fact, if you don't have the 9-cell batteries, it will probably be, you know, a little wiggly. It will probably wiggle around in there. So, even with the 9-cell battery, it still does that. So, here it is from up high. Now, let me show you the thickness of it. So, you know, it. it's a good, it's a good computer. I would recommend it. Um, I believe I said this earlier in the video that it is the first version of the T530 series, so it is pretty much flawless, even though considering it's the first version of it. And Lenovo is only making it better by not only releasing updates, but you know every time, you know every problem defect they find with the hardware, they'll improve it. So it, it's it's good right now, and it's only getting better. So I would definitely recommend getting this. And if you're considering a Mac. Uh, I was looking on the Apple website, and even this, even though this is such a rocking laptop, even though I had, you know, it upgraded really nice, uh, the, the cheapest Mac, like the equivalent of it, is still, you know, really expensive. So this is great and it's cheaper. 
Although, I heard, I've heard some people like the Mac operating system better. It, it all depends on your preference. So, as far as Windows computers go, I would definitely recommend Lenovo. They have amazing customer service and laptop mag, or I believe it was laptop mag, for like the past three years, 2013, 2012, and 2011, Lenovo was the best PC company. Apple has always been the first. But, you know, when it comes to Windows, power computers, Lenovo has been the best for the past few years, and Lenovo is striving to get even better, so I would highly recommend Lenovo. So, if they find, if you report any problem, they'll immediately send you a new computer. So, mine, actually, I bought it from the website, and uh, one thing you need to be warned about is that when you buy it, when you purchase it from the lap, from the a laptop from or any computer from Lenovo's website, they tend to ship it out before they bill you. And if for some reason you know the transaction doesn't go through, they'll tell uh, UPS to kind of turn it back around, which is kind of weird. So you know, just make sure you do that. And and see and get this the customer service agents won't even know that they said to turn back around. So just make sure to you know make sure that the transaction goes out and you leave all the money in your bank account or the card or whatever gift card whatever you're using. So just thought I should give you that warning. Besides that, you know Lenovo's great. The computer's great. I would highly recommend the ThinkPads. Like I said, this this runs Bioshock 2 great, and I've played Oblivion on it. Which also works fantastic. So I played, you know, little cheap games you download offline, off the internet. Those, of course, run amazing. So even with the business series graphics card, this still runs amazing. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.